what's the title of this article? Master on the Mound. As a good reader, you automatically think strategically and actively to understand what you read. As a tutor, your challenge is to learn specific reading comprehension strategies to teach explicitly, one at a time, to your learner. By learning comprehension strategies, your learner will become aware of how to think in order to make meaning while reading. Scanning a text to find a specific piece of information is a strategy that may help struggling readers improve their comprehension. People commonly scan for specific information when they read dictionaries, recipes, bus schedules, weather reports, computer listings, forms, classified ads, and phone books. Tutoring pairs might also practice scanning as a pre-reading strategy to identify unfamiliar words in a text. So, Paul, today we're going to talk about a reading comprehension strategy called scanning. Scan. Scanning. Have you ever heard the term scanning? You're reading, you're scanning your eyes back and forth. Yeah, you're right. Your eyes or, are, or, are or scanning their... It's just like a, a printer. A printer is scanning. That's a great, that's a great that's comparison. It is. Yeah. yeah, and so that's one kind of scanning. But there in reading, there's also a, a more specific definition of scanning. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people actually get this term mixed up with another activity, which is skimming. Oh, and skimming, so yeah. skimming yeah. is actually when you run your eyes over a page quickly skimming, yeah. skimming just to get the general idea of mm -hmm. what the text that you're reading is about. Mm -hmm. And um, you don't read word for word, but you're, you, know, you just want to understand the, the general idea to get the gist. Mm -hmm. Scanning is not the same as skinning, skimming. So scanning is when same activity, you're running your eyes across the page, you're not reading every single word for meaning, but scanning is when you are looking for a specific piece of information or a specific word. So your, um, your eyes are absolutely focused in on finding a particular thing on a page. Scanning helps you find information that you need in a text that will help you understand it better. Mm -hmm. So it is a reading comprehension strategy. The first one, we're going to be working with a, um, a form. And forms can be a little bit tricky to fill out because of the vocabulary and, and different ways that they ask questions. Yeah, the way they ask questions. Yeah, and so this is a patient registration form. So this is a form for like if you go to see a new doctor, if you're a new patient uh, for a new doctor and they ask you to fill out this form before you can see the doctor for the first time. This is actually a perfect kind of text to work with scanning because some of the same words are repeated over and over. And so it'll give us a chance to practice looking for those words. We don't care about any other words. We don't even really care about what those words mean right now. We're just practicing the strategy or the tool of running our eyes across the whole page looking for particular pieces of information. So I have chosen, I think, five words um, from this form. And I've counted how many times these words were used on this page. And so what I'd um, like you to do is to see how many times you can find these five words. Okay. And so for um, the first word, it's employer. And so there's a blue pen because your word is in blue here. And so any time you find the word employer on the form, could you please circle it with the blue pen? And again, you're just trying to do this. All you're looking for is employer. 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 And we'll see if you find all of the all of the times that employer is. And let me stop you right there, Paul, because um, I see that you are circling two different words. Are you circling more than just employer? Yeah. Yeah, so there it is again. All you're doing is scanning this document or this form for the word employer. Good job. 
So you did that really quickly, right? You just, you, you didn't care about anything else. The one specific piece of information or the one word you were looking for That's scanning. is employed. That's scanning. Absolutely. That's, scanning. That's a perfect example of scanning. Okay. So just to make sure you got it, I'm going to ask you five different words. So what's this word? Pat, e, net, pat, net. Patient. Oh, patient. 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 Patient, yes. That's a patient. That's a medical word. Absolutely, yeah. If you're a patient of a doctor, or you're, you know, he's your doctor, or you are his, like, client, or, you know, you, yeah, you see him. Great. So now your job is to find as many places that patient, and this is a little bit tricky one, because, first of all, there are more than five, and then sometimes they're in unusual places. So tell me your strategy, because I know you're doing this systematically, right? You have a certain way of doing this. What is your strategy? Left to right. Left, left to right. right, okay. Left to right. And where are you starting on the page? On the left. Yeah, and are you starting at the bottom or the top or the middle or? The top. Right, top to bottom, okay. Top to bottom. And then are you looking for any particular letters? that will clue you in to the fact that the word patient is following? No, that you, can, you can use the first three letters. Yeah, you can, use for, you can look for pat, pat. Yeah. you can even look for P, okay? Yeah, P, yeah. Yeah, so good. So you've gotten a lot of them. Do you want to turn over the card and see if you've gotten them all, though? Let's see how many, let's count. Six. You've gotten, ah, and you've gotten how many? One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's two more. Two more. I didn't see the other ones. And they're tricky because they're not where you might look for them. That's one. Ah, right. Right at the top. Yeah. Okay, and the other one is even trickier. Goes in the side. Yes, it goes in sideways. Very <laughs> good. Good job. All right, you got all six. Very good. Are you getting the hang of scanning? Yes, I'm getting ahead. It's good practice for the brain. Good, good. Mm -hmm. You've never done anything like this before? Other stuff I scan. What do you scan? Like at home? And yeah, at home. Yeah, what kinds of I things do you scan? I never call it scan. We do this all the time, but we don't even know we're doing it. And we don't yeah. call it scanning, but you do it yeah. all the time. So w when do you like do it? Browsing, at browsing. Yeah, absolutely. So browsing like if in you're the paper. in the paper, any other times when you scan? We scan you in the computer. In the computer, you're scanning for. You know, you do. You scan the computer, but also, you know, the computer sometimes has a scanner, yeah, and that's scan. exactly it. It's going, zzz, 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 yeah, and that's do. what your eyes are doing, right? Your eyes are doing exactly the same motion. Exercise. It, it, it's it a, it it's sort of exercise gets, for your brain. It's exercise for your brain and your eyes, because your and eyes your have eyes. to track. Your right? eyes and, and brain. Um, so good. So it seems pretty simple, but there's actually a lot of different um, stuff and activity and skills going into scanning. So yeah, you did a really good job. Yeah. So thank you. The goal of practicing reading comprehension is for your learner to master and internalize more and more comprehension strategies to choose from and use in a variety of reading situations. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative.